Now, I've talked to leadership staff, I've talked to team members, leadership staffs all over the country, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something after speaking to a lot of leadership teams. I have said to them, give me definitions of faithful, okay? And I'm gonna give you a list of the majority of the answers I get when I say give me a list of what's faithful because I don't want to take the time tonight to do it. All right, so we're going to listen on the screen. Hopefully it's going to come up. Here's, here's steadfast, consistent, dependable, reliable, loyal, true, trustworthy, devoted, truthful. These are the answers I get when I say, give me the definition of being faithful, because God says it's required one thing, this steward be found faithful, right? Do you know the answer or uh, uh, the definition that I've never heard? Never heard. One leadership team give me. And yet it's one of the greatest and most important definitions of faithful. Do you know what it is? Multiplication. All right, let's read a little story here. For the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and delivered his goods to them. See, they're stewarding his goods. Jesus said unto one he gave five talents. Now, this is a parable. A talent is basically money. It's a parable. What he's actually talking about is our charismas. But it's a parable. So to one he gave five talents, to another he gave two, and to another one, to each according to his own ability, and immediately he went on a journey. So we're going to modernize this, and we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna actually identify the people. We're going we're to say Ashley was given five talents. We're going to say Dave was given two, and Larry was given one. If your name's Larry here tonight, no, no meanness intended. Then Ashley, if we keep reading who had received five talents, went and traded them and made another five talents. So Ashley starts out with five. She doubles. She multiplies what's given to her, and she gets ten. Likewise, Dave, who had received two, gained two more also. So Dave had two, multiplied by two, and he got four. But Larry, who had received one, went and dug in the ground, and he hid his Lord's money. So we clear on this. Ashley Starts out with five, she multiplies and ends up with two. Dave starts with two, multiplies and ends up with four. Larry ends up with one, maintains one, okay? Now let's keep reading. After a long time, the Lord of those servants came and settled accounts with them. So Ashley, who had received five talents, came and brought five other talents, saying, Lord, you delivered me five talents. Look, I have gained five more talents beside them. Now listen to this. Her Lord said to her, well done, good and, come on, shout it servant. Now look at this. You were faithful over a few things. So now wait a minute. The only thing he's identified that she's done is multiply. So do you notice he specifically links her multiplying to being faithful? You were faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Then Dave, who had received two, came And he multiplied his two into four. And his Lord said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been what? Come on, shout it. What's the only thing Jesus said he did? He multiplied. So do you see how Jesus is linking faithfulness directly with multiplication? Do you see this? You were faithful over a few things. I'll make you rule over many things. I earned the joy of your Lord. Now, watch Larry. Then Larry who had received one talent, came and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man. Here's his first problem. He doesn't understand the character of his master. Reaping where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. And I was afraid. Problem number two, fear. Fear will keep you from operating in your gift. And I went and hid your talent in the ground. Look, there you have what is yours. Now look at this. But his Lord answered and said, you wicked and lazy servant. Notice he doesn't say you wicked and lazy outsider. This guy is in his kingdom. Are you with me? I know this is strong, but it's true. Now, in regard to our labor, everybody say labor. Labor. 
God views those who multiply as faithful and good. But God views those who maintain as wicked and lazy. Okay, so you know the mindset? Well, I got my nice little business, my nice small family, and I go to church every Sunday. I'm being faithful. No, according to Jesus, you're being lazy and even possibly wicked. Now, this is a complete paradigm shift, guys. See, we think faithful is just maintaining the fort. When in reality, made faithful to God is multiplication. What's the first commandment God gave to man? When he put us on the earth, be fruitful and multiply. He wasn't just talking about having babies. He was saying, anything I give to you, return it back to me multiplied. 